And uh, the election was last Tuesday, but we still don't know who's going to be Virginia's next attorney general. Almost a week after the election, the identity of the winner is becoming even more uncertain. The unofficial tally so far has Republican Mark Obenchain leading Democrat Mark Herring by just 17 votes. That's out of more than 2 million votes cast. But work underway right now in Fairfax County could change that. Candace Gibson is there to explain. Candace. Yeah, Gordon, the County Board of Elections just wrapped up counting provisional ballots, at least for today, within the last couple of hours. As you mentioned, this is a very tight race with the Republican in the lead, but that could change as soon as this evening. From all appearances, you would think today was Election Day in Fairfax County. Representatives for the opposing campaigns with their stickers and signs staying the designated distance from where voters were casting ballots. As for those voters... As an American citizen, that's my right to vote and that's what I'm doing. They came to the Fairfax County Government Center to cast provisional ballots in the state attorney general's race. With the two candidates, Republican Mark Obershane and Democrat Mark Herring, only 17 votes apart, every vote counts. I think we all need to come and vote, and that's our right to do, and we need to do it no matter how close the election. But for the 40 or so voters who came today, having that vote count required extra effort. They're among more than 400 voters in Fairfax County who cast provisional ballots. The State Board of Elections changed the rules just last Friday, requiring those voters to show up in person in front of a County Board of Elections. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And once the board verified their information, those critical votes are finally counted in this tight race. And come on, it's Veterans Day, you know, it's like my, gra my grandpa didn't like way through the muck of Gua Canal, it's just so I wouldn't sit down and vote, you know, when I had the chance to. So that, that was kind of an impetus too. Now we do expect the State Board of Elections to release the results of where the race stands within any minute now or any hour at this point. And as we mentioned, you know, there was other voting that took place in Richmond today, but it really will be Fairfax County that could tilt the balance of this race. And for the Democrats, they say that's a good thing because on Election Day itself, Herring took this county by 61 percent. Reporting from Fairfax, Virginia, Candace Gibson, ABC 7 News.